Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today is Thursday, so that is story time Thursday. I am going to tell several short stories because I couldn't think of a long one to tell. Story number one. Uh, this one time when I was in college, uh, I went to Oklahoma State. Uh, this one time when I was in college, I had to take a summer course because uh, I was an insane person and I decided I was going to finish my degree in four years because I thought everybody and their mother finishes their degree in four years. But no, that is wildly untrue and I didn't realize it at the time. Uh, so anyway, so I was taking the summer class to try to finish my degree and so I took two different classes during the summer and one was a Shakespeare class. And then the other one was like right after it and I can't remember what it was, but it was in the same building. But we had this like hour long-ish break for lunch in between the two. So I was hanging out up there and in this building, for whatever reason, I don't know why, uh, there were several other kids in there, uh, you know, taking various other summer classes. But for some reason, there was a ton of OSU football players in there, for some reason. And I was like, okay, cool. So I remember this one time, uh, we were taking the elevator because we were all a bunch of lazy kids and we didn't want to walk down the, the one flight of stairs to go down to the vending machines. And so I get into the elevator and these like three enormous uh, football players walk in and then this one little kind of short looking football player walks in, right? And so it's me and my other gal friend and we're standing there next to these like enormous black guys. And one of them kind of like looks over at me and he's like, he's like, do you ladies know who this is? And I was like, no, because <laughs> I was an idiot and I didn't. He goes, it's Kendall Hunter. He's pretty much the best running back ever. And I was like, <laughs> And me and my friend were just like, oh, like super starstruck. And so when we get off, <laughs> so we were pretty much speechless. So we didn't say very much on the elevator itself. And then when we got off the elevator and we went down to the vending machines, Kendall Hunter turns to me and he goes, do you have change for a five? And I said, no. <laughs> and that was the time I told Kendall Hunter no. <laughs> okay, story number two. My high school students say the most hilarious things sometimes. And so this is a story from way, way back in the day. Um, I had this one student, we're gonna call her Tina, and this other student named Brian. So Tina was a very uh, bubbly, happy kind of gal, but she you know, didn't really give a crap about what anyone cared about and stuff, and she, she would do her own thing. So I remember this one day, she comes into class. And, uh, and it's a very, very warm day and the classroom's really hot. And so she just plops all her stuff down and then lays down on the floor because the floor was made of tile and it was cooler there. So she's laying there on the tile floor and I turn to her and I'm just like, Tina, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? You know, thinking that. And I say to her, I say, Tina, Tina, get off the floor, it's dirty. So this kid Brian is sitting there and he uh, turns to Tina on the floor and without skipping a beat, this little smart mouth, he goes, he goes, yeah, Tina, get off the floor. You're making it dirty. And I think I, <laughs> I think I cracked up more than I've ever laughed ever at anything a kid said. So that was pretty great. Story number three. So I work in a very small rural community and so these kids have access to like farm animals and stuff all the time, which is just highly unusual to me because I grew up in the city. I'm a city kid. And, uh, and so I remember one day the seniors were pulling a prank. This was years ago. We're pulling a prank and they decided that they were going to do the whole, you know, label three animals, one, two, and four, and let them loose in the school. And then, you know, oh, everyone loses their minds looking for number three. It's the oldest prank in the book. Anyway, so they released <laughs> three chickens chickens in the school, numbered one, two, and four, so, you know, but obviously the administration, they've seen that before. They weren't born yesterday, they know what's happening. Anyway, but I remember I came into uh, to my classroom on this lovely day, and uh, there was just a chicken in my chair. It was just sitting there, and I was like, there's a chicken in my chair. There was no explanation at that point. I had no idea that this was all going on. I just walked in, and there was a chicken in my chair, and it was like, oh. Well, okay then. So that was very surprising. Anyway, uh, that's three stories for you. Thank you for listening, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!